Hello everyone, so we've still got the straight hair left over from uh, my previous video, which if you didn't see, you should definitely go watch because it's interesting. But today I wanted to film a favorites video. I'm not gonna touch my hair the entire video, I promise. Today I wanted to go ahead and film a favorites video because I haven't filmed one in a while and I have accumulated quite a few things. So the company Marula was kind enough to send me some products to try. Actually though, some of these products I already talked about in my natural hair care talk video and now I've gotten a chance to use them a little bit more and use them after I've straightened my hair. So I wanna talk about them. I also have a skincare product I forgot to mention, but I'll talk about that in a second. These guys, this is the Daily Moisture Mist. This is something that you can use as a leave-in conditioner and it's also a heat protectant, which I really appreciate. I like it when products do double duty. I talked about this in that video. I feel like if you're spending a lot of money on a product, which you kind of are with these, you want to get your money's worth and I definitely feel like you do. When my hair is curly, I really like to use this to spray it down, kind of reform the curls. I use this when my hair is curly as well to use it as a heat protectant because I do um, kind of do that method where you pull your hair and kind of blow dry the roots. And then when my hair was straight this time, I used it as my heat protectant when blow drying and straightening and it did a really, really nice job. So it's a very versatile product and I appreciate that. I also appreciate this Marula hair oil. I mentioned when I use it on my curly hair, it's okay, but it was a really, really great product to have when I was straightening my hair. Although it's not bad when your hair is curly either. It definitely, I what I like it most for when my hair is curly is the kind of final step of just adding a nice shine to your hair. I also really enjoy this product from Marula. This is the Pure Marula Facial Oil. And although this is not a product I use all the time, it's something I really liked. I have been concentrating it here, kind of around the mouth for some reason. I've been getting some dry patches in those areas already. Maybe just a shift in temperature, shift in the weather, I should say, as the seasons are changing. But this does a really, really good job to combat that, especially since I have um, oily skin usually. This doesn't clog up my pores. It doesn't do anything like that. You literally need the, like, I don't even push the button. I literally just take out the little thing and put a little dab on my finger, and that's all I use. And even at nighttime, sometimes I'll use that as my moisturizer. A little dab covers the whole face. So although it is a pricey product, I swear this is gonna last me forever. <laughs> and since these are a little bit on the higher end, I am very, very excited to mention that you can participate in a giveaway. Marula is hosting a giveaway of these products. All the information is gonna be down in the description of how you can enter. Go check that out, but of course, watch the rest of this video too, because there's a lot of stuff to cover and that was just the tip of the iceberg by Owl City. A great song, go listen to it. So next favorite I want to get into is someone who has been really saving my life um, these past couple of months, my planner. And I already talked about this in my planner and textbook video, but I just want to talk about it again. This is by the brand Bando Bandu. First of all, it's beautiful. It's this nice creamy navy and gold marble print, gold all down here. The bookmark is even gold. It is just beautiful. But really, this has been a lifesaver this month just for organizational purposes. I am taking on probably more than I should be this semester. My weeks get pretty filled up. I also appreciate the fact that there's a section for taking notes. I like to jot down video ideas, calendar stuff. There's like concerts and all of that. It is just a fabulous organizational device and you don't need this planner. But as I said in my other video, please, for the love of God, if you are a student of any age, please get a planner. Something else that's been saving me in my classes is this guy, also a nice little marbly look. This is from Swell, and I'm sure many of you have seen these water bottles hopping around these days. They're awesome. It's one of those water bottles that keeps your beverages cold for 24 hours and I think hot for 12 hours. I don't drink hot drinks really ever, but that cold factor is great because I'm used to, this is kind of a weird thing, but maybe hopefully someone can relate. At my parents' house, we have a filter on our fridge to get water out of, and to me, the water just tastes better that way. But while I'm here at school, your homegirl is just drinking straight tap water, and it's fine. It gets the job done. Although tap water does have a different taste than filtered water does. 
obviously. So what I like to do, if you put some ice in here, you know, just get yourself an ice cube tray, keep it cold. You can't even taste that it's tap water. It tastes fabulous and it tastes fabulous for an entire day. So it's pretty crazy. The only thing I don't like is that, but if I can get past that and have this huge water bottle and have my beverage cold for literally an entire day, I'll deal with that awful noise. <laughs> These are both things, by the way, that I got at my job this summer, so I did get them a little bit discounted. They are pricier products usually. You can find them on sale. I don't know if they're ever on sale, but if you can find them cheaper, hopefully, you know, you can snatch them up. Couple of apparel favorites. I have been back into vintage thrifting because it's cheap, it's way more ethical and sustainable in general, so I like to support that. First I'm going to show you a pajama thing that I've been enjoying and it's actually kind of funny. I think it's funny. It is a big Hootie and the Blowfish shirt, which I showed in my veg vlog, but I don't know. I have this thing with Hootie and the Blowfish. It's just, they crack me up. I don't know. The name of the band, first of all, it's from the 90s. Second of all, this tour actually is 95, the year I was born, so I appreciate that. My mom and I are constantly talking about Hootie and the Blowfish for some reason. It's just like an inside joke thing. I don't know why they amuse me so much, but when I found this at a vintage shop, you bet I had to snatch it up, especially because it was on sale. Normally Normally this was going to be $14. No, 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 no. I got it for five. I can wear it as a dress when I'm sleeping. You don't have to wear pants, which means if you get up in the middle of the night and you have roommates or something and you got to walk around, you don't have to put on pants. It's great. I personally don't have roommates, but like, you know, I can walk in front of an open window and not have to worry that my neighbors are staring at me. So, or if they are staring at me, at least they're not seeing my undergarments. So I really, really enjoy that. And then also I've been enjoying this cardigan that I found. And this was even cheaper because this was from an actual thrift store, not just a vintage store. It's probably like three bucks or something. It had belt loops on it and a belt, but I just used a little seam ripper and snipped that off. And this is like the best cardigan I've had in a while. That was one thing I wanted to get for my fall capsule was a nice new cardigan. And although I wanted to get it in more of an oatmeal kind of beigey shade, I didn't find that. But so far I have been wearing this for like a week straight and I love it. I'll probably wear it like 80 more times next week. So there you have it. Maybe quick shout out is the other shirt I'm wearing. This I got the same day as the Hootie and the Blowfish shirt. I like to roll up the arms and I sliced the bottom to give it more of a boxy fit. Just really check into your guys' vintage and thrift stores. I always say this, but the, 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 all of the, wow, I just stuttered like crazy there. Rewind. All of the best items that I own are thrifted or vintage, but usually thrifted. So I recommend it. I actually have some book favorites which is new for me. One of them is a physical book, but it's interesting. This is Cradle to Cradle, which I'm sure if any of you are at all interested in sustainability, you've probably heard about this. And if not, you gotta get this. This is the Bible of sustainability, really. Another interesting thing about this book, it is not made with paper. In the first couple of pages, they explain what it's made out of, but it's basically a material that can be recycled endlessly, which kind of goes with the whole cradle to cradle uh, design model, I guess you could say. Fabulous for anyone who's not even an apparel major. This book is actually more about architecture and um, other product design. Look into this if you're interested in any of those areas of design and sustainability. And then another book, um, this one's actually related to social responsibility and I have it as an iBook, which I'm really, really enjoying iBooks recently. And this is called The Responsible Company. This is a book that was written by the owner and creator of Patagonia. So it basically just talks about how to run your business as ethically and sustainably as possible. It's a really quick read and it's great. Even if you are just interested in like business just in general, um, it gives you some really good tips on how to run your business sustainably and how it can actually really save you money. So I found it to be a very, very interesting read. These are both things that I needed to read for school, but I'm definitely glad that I have both of these. You bet I'll be taking these on the plane with me and just rereading them and just using them as a resource in my career, honestly, later on in life. Then we have music favorites. Oh my gosh, do we have music favorites? So many. But the number one favorite, and I'm sure it's a favorite for many of you as well, just judging from how many of you liked the picture and commented on it on Instagram that I posted regarding 
Local Natives new album, Sunlit Youth. Wow! Ooh, I love this album so much. Literally have been listening to it on repeat for days now, almost a few weeks now. It came out earlier in September and it almost slipped past my radar, but it didn't. And this is easily on the same level as like Champ by Tokyo Police Club for me or So Long See You Tomorrow by Bombay Bicycle Club. That was like my favorite album in 2014 and then just continued on into other years to come. But this is just so beautiful. It's I think it's their best album yet, honestly. Just some vocals you can really belt out to. This is some car driving, shower taking music, let me tell you that. And just so beautifully orchestrated. It's their most danceable album yet, Dark Days especially. Um, that's got a groovy little beat to it. So I definitely recommend checking this album out if you have been a fan of local natives in the past or if you're brand new to them. This is a really great place to start, honestly. Another new album that came out recently is Carly Rae Jepsen's Emotion B-Side and say what you will about her. I know most of us have been converted to appreciate the queen, but not everyone has. She's talented. She's good at what she does. She makes excellent pop music. I am all about that synthy 80s dreamy stuff. I love that stuff. And that's what all of her new projects have been recently. And this is no different. If you loved Emotion like I did, you will love this new little release of hers. It's great. As far as some other stuff I have been enjoying, the Kiss Away Trail is a band I discovered recently because I was trying to find Danish bands. I absolutely love this. Right up my alley. Kind of reminds me of Freelance Whales in a way, but a little bit noisier than them. So it's like a grimier version of that, but it's not that grimy. So I don't want to like say that and scare you because it's not at all. It's still a very sugary band because I like my tunes sugary sweet. Also the band Great Good Fine Okay. I hope I didn't get that out of order, but very danceable, groovy, indie pop. I dig it. Not much else to say about it. They have a song with St. Lucia if that gives you any sort of um, indicator of their sound. Although it's a little bit groovier even than St. Lucia in my opinion. Groovy is just the word of the video today, guys. And then also I've been revisiting the 1975, both albums, both great. Again, that synthy 80s dreamy pop. I live for it, I breathe it. It's who I am. <laughs> and I went back and listened to Lord's Pure Heroine, a fabulous, fabulous album. I missed the girl a lot, to be honest. Where is she? Who is she? But that is basically it. So I thank you all very, very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.